friends. Today we are going to use the stamp game and we are going to do dynamic addition. Dynamic addition is addition where you're going to be carrying over a number. So just like before with our stamp game, we're going to cover up our lower number. We're going to build our top number and it says we need nine units. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Let me make sure. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, five. Six tens, four, five, and six. We need five one hundreds and seven thousands. Two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Now we're going to put out our divider board or our separator, cover up the top number, and build the bottom number. Bottom number needs three units. Four tens, two one hundreds, and one one thousand. We are still adding, so we're going to divide, we're going to remove our divider board and slide all of our numbers up. And we're going to start counting at the units. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Stop! We always stop at the 10, just like with the stamp, with the addition snake. We always stop at 10, and we're going to make an exchange of 10 units for one 10 bar. So this is going to the bank. We're going to put the 10 ones in. We're taking one 10 bar, and we're going to count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Uh-oh. We've got another 10. We're going to have to make another exchange. Exchanging 10, 10 bars for one 100. So our answer is two units, one 10, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight 100s, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight thousands. So our answer is 8,812. Now, remember when you are carrying over that means you are taking 10 of one and exchanging it for one of the next unit up, okay? Boys and girls, if you have any more questions with how to do dynamic addition, please feel free to send me an email. Thank you.